I want to remind you, you are surrounded. The Lord is my light. someone who is pregnant when they begin to see the head they tell you to push it's actually the most painful part of the pregnancy of delivery because the head is now in contraction with the entrance that is coming into the world some of you have felt the intensity of what the enemy is doing in your life and it's made you want to quit but God said to let you know I can see the head what am I saying to you the manifestation the dreams the visions that you've been waiting on that you've been praying about that you've been fasting about God says I can see the head what is about to happen in your life you don't realize that it's at the brink of coming to pass and all God says I need you to do in this last quarter is push push past the pain push past the contractions push past the distractions and if you push God says I'm going to manifest what I said turn to your neighbor and say it's time to push
Good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everyone feeling this morning? I see you guys, Florida, Trinidad. I mean, you guys are in the house this morning, New York, West Ham. If you are just coming in, you guys know what to do. Share, share, share. Let someone know that we are praying this morning, that we are coming before the Father this morning. And I'm super excited and super grateful. I want to challenge you this morning as you guys are coming in. Comment something that you are grateful for. Good morning, Princess. Good morning, Terry. Good morning, Shakira. Good morning, Severin. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, Yolanda. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's so good to be on here with you all. Good morning, Kayan. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm grateful for life. I'm alive. Listen, me too. Good morning. Good morning. I see Toronto, Canada. Good morning. Good morning. I want you guys to type in something in the comments. What are you grateful for? What are you grateful for? Morning from Ireland. Grateful for life and family. Love that. Good morning. Good morning. Come on in. Karen, good morning. Andrew, good morning. Millie, good morning. So good to see you guys on here. Good morning, Nav. I'm grateful to have the activity of my limbs inspired a few aches and pains. Love it, love it. I wanted to encourage you guys to just be grateful. Sometimes we can forget the things that God has done for us because we are so focused on everything that is going wrong. But this morning, I want you to focus today and just share something you are grateful for. Just one thing, just one thing you're grateful for. Good morning. Annette, good morning, Yvonne. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Grateful for Jesus Christ. Listen, I hear it. I'm grateful. We are grateful. God is kind. He is good. Grateful for having a roof over my head. Come on. Grateful for family. Listen, Grateful that God woke me up this morning. He's allowed me to see another day. Grateful for wisdom and situations. Grateful for mercy and grace. Yeah, this is good. Grateful for life and family. Yeah, God has kept me safe. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. A sound mind. Heather, you almost took me out of here today. Grateful for the breath of God. Grateful for his grace and mercy. Grateful for life. Grateful for the faithfulness of God. Yeah. God is good. He is good. He is good. He is good. Come on. Let me share. As you're coming in, don't forget to hit that share button. Share, share, share. Let someone know that we are live this morning. So don't see your friends on here. Tell them, wake up. It's time to pray. Grateful for life. Yeah. It's your first time. Good morning. Welcome. Welcome to our pray Lord family. Good morning. Great for peace. Peace. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning, Victoria. Good morning. Grateful for freedom. For freedom. Good morning. Yeah, he is the keeper. Grateful for a sound mind. Yeah, I love this. I love this. We're grateful. We are grateful this morning. So if you're just tuning in, um, Gina, if we could just put that off so they know. I want you to comment one thing you're grateful for. Just one thing you're grateful for. He woke me up and everything is working. Woo! Come on. God is good. He is good. He is good. Morning. Grateful for his love. Yeah, love this. Good morning, Alexis. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. As you're coming in, welcome, welcome, welcome. We are commenting one thing we are grateful for. I am grateful that he never gave up on me. That's what I'm grateful for. What are you grateful for? Good morning from DC, Washington, I see you. Grateful for life, love that. Grateful for his forgiveness, yeah. Good morning, Bishop Kevin, grateful for life, yeah. We are grateful. We are grateful this morning. Grateful for his unfailing love. Woo. Grateful for God's forgiveness. Good morning, good morning. 
Lord, we are grateful. We're grateful this morning. Now, as you're commenting that one thing, I want you to turn that gratefulness into worship. Grateful to be alive. Grateful for grace. So, Lord, we just thank you for the things that we have commented today that sometimes we forget about, that we forget that you are consistent in all your ways, that you do these small things, but they are really big things. And so we honor you, we praise you, we thank you for the ability just to be able to take a moment and pause, to literally take pauses of gratitude to honor you for who you are, for all that you are doing in our lives, individually and collectively. We just thank you. Lord God, we thank you. Wow, Bishop. Wow, that's amazing. We honor you. We honor you. We honor you, God. You are good. We are good. Thank you, Jesus. We honor you. Lord, we're grateful. You are good, and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. You are good. And your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are good. And your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are good. And your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are good. And your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. 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 You are good, and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> we honor you this morning. We're grateful, God. Grateful, Jesus. We thank you for keeping us, Lord. Yeah. We thank you for restoring us, Lord. Thank you for life and strength and health and we're in our right mind. We thank you. Thank you, Lord. We say thank. Thank you, Lord. God, we say thank you, Lord. Lord, we just want to thank you, Lord. Cause you've been so so good is that anyone's testimony you have been you've been so good yes you have you have been so good so good we just want to thank you, Lord, because you made a, a way when we couldn't see a way you've made a way. Yes, you did, you made a 
you did. We just want to thank you. Lord. Yeah, I just want to thank you. I love that. What a mighty God we serve. Yeah, what am I because we serve? Angels bow before heaven and earth adore you. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before Him. Heaven and earth, we adore Him. Oh, what? Mighty God, mighty God, we serve. Beautiful one, I love. Beautiful one, I adore. Beautiful one, my soul, my blessing. Yeah, beautiful one, I love, beautiful one, I adore, beautiful one, my soul, the soul must see me. Yeah, well, we love you today. You're good God, yes you are. It's who you are, yes you are. Be blessed on you, Jesus. We bless your name. We bless your name. Bless your name from the bottom of our hearts. We bless your name. This is our adoration. This is sometimes we say it, sometimes we say it. We bless your name. This is what we came to do. We bless your name. Cause you've been good and you've been kind. We bless your name. We lift you up, oh, our Father. We bless your name. You are good and you are kind, we bless your name. You deserve all our praise and our adoration, we bless your name. You're good, you're good, you're good, we bless your name. We lift you up above it all, yes, we do, we bless your name. My soul will magnify the Lord, we bless your name. You're a great God, you're a great King, we bless your name. There is none like you in all the land, we bless your name. You're a great Jehovah, I don't know, we bless your name. Alpha and Omega, my Prince of Peace, we bless your name. My refuge, strong tower, we bless your name. Coming of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, we bless your name. Sword of truth, you are, we bless your name. Hope and strength, Redeemer, we bless your name. Lily of the valley, yeah, we bless your name. My hope, my help, and my safety, we bless your name. We bless, we bless, we bless, we bless, yeah. 
Oh, we bless your name, God. We lift you higher, King of kings, we bless your name. Lord of lords, we say we bless your name. God, we do, we do, we bless, we bless your holy, righteous, yes you are, yeah. We bless your name. All oh, our souls, our strength, we bless your name. Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Magadesh, we bless your name. Jehovah Jireh, our provider, we bless your name. Yes, you are our King, we bless your name. Oh, my soul, I live, we bless the Lord, we bless your name. All oh, glory and honor belongs to you, we bless your name. The activity of our limbs and our eyes, bless your name. So we bless, we bless your name. We bless, we bless your name. So, Father, we just take this moment to bless you from all around the world. We just take a moment to bless you because you are God and there is none like you besides you there is no other so we honor you this morning we lift you we exalt you because you are good you are great there is none like you there is none like you yeah there is none like you i have everything i need I just feel this in my spirit. This is for someone. I have everything I need. I don't know who this is for. The Lord just wants to remind you. This He just interrupted me. I have everything I need. The great I am provides for me. The great I am provides for me. You have everything you need. Hey, I'm so in the lady and do rubber. You have everything you need. Yes, you do. You have everything you need. The great I am provides for you. The great I am provides for you. Cause he's whatever he needs you to be. Cause he's the I am he is. Cause you're whatever I need you to be. You're the I you are. You're whatever I need you to be. You're the one you are. Whatever I need you to be. He is the I am. I don't know who that was for, but he said to let you know he is the I am. Whatever you are believing him for, he is the I am. He is everything you need and more. If you need strength, if you need peace, if you need hope, whatever you are needing, God is for you. He is for you. He says, I am whatever you need me to be. So, Father, we thank you. We thank you that, Lord, you can interrupt our adoration and speak. We thank you. We thank you that you are whatever we need. We thank you. Hallelujah. 
Well, if this is your first time, welcome to Bobby and Brett. I pray, Lord, family. We are so grateful to be here this morning. And we are going to go straight into the Word so we can pray. Um, we're going to Hebrews 12. I hope everyone is doing good today. We are going into Hebrews 12. We're going to read two verses, uh, 1 and 2. Literally, Hebrews 12, verse 1 to 2. It says this. I want to read the NIV. It says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witness, let us throw off everything that hinders. I want to throw off every weight that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles us. Uh, New King James besets us. And let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. Fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. The other one says, the author and finisher for the joy set before him he endured the cross scorning its shame and sat down at the right hand of the throne of god i was just asking the lord like lord what would you have to say to your people what is it that you want to speak to your people and he literally just said to me um and i want to say how he said it to me because it wasn't in this uh translation but i like to read different translations so we can hear it and he just said to me lay aside every weight that so easy that's and sin that easily ensnares us one that says besets us and i was like okay why this scripture didn't go didn't look it in it talks about we were talking last week about you know pressing towards the mark of i was talking about race and god just brought this to me he said lay aside every way and one of the things that was really interesting the lord brought to my spirit because i said where, where do you want me to go with this i don't know about you but this week i feel like the enemy knew that because I preached as hard as I did, he was going to bring attacks all week. When I tell you, hits every day. Every day there was something that the enemy came with. And I was like, God, God, we'll talk. What is going on? This is madness. Like, this is crazy. Like, why am I going through so much warfare? Um, I know the message, all of that. But it was like relentless. Every day, hit, 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 hit. Hit, hit, hit. I was just like, oh my gosh. To the point where one of the days I was like, I don't know if I can take any more hits. Like, God, please, I need a break. Like, and I felt like as I said it, another hit came. I was like, this is crazy. And Pastor Hannah, I was listening to Pastor Hannah, Pastor John Hannah from Chicago. He went live. I just happened to tune in and he said, don't focus on the hits that you forget your victory. Is like don't cause your mind to be so ensnared by the 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 hits that you're you're missing the victories. And I was like, ooh, that thing hit me. Like I mean, hit me in my chest. Like I could not stop crying. I was like, God, you're right. Don't focus on the hits. And so today, the Lord brought this to me. He was just like, lay aside every weight, everything that you are carrying, everything that is weighing you down, everything that is bringing stress to your body. And you guys know I'm a very, very honest person. Like, it was so many hits that I'm not, I have, for the most part, pretty clear skin. I was breaking out in spots like I was a teenager. I was like, what is going on? My body was acting crazy. Like, my eye was doing this flickering thing. Um, And when I was looking things up, I was like, okay, this is stress. Because I don't get spots like this. I don't get my eye twitching. Okay, this is crazy. Like, I'm feeling the effects on my body. My chest is tight. And I had to start biting it because I was like, there's no way that this is going to affect my body. Like, I'm not going to allow the enemy this level of stress that he's going to put this on my body. Lay aside every weight. One of the things that God brought to my spirit as I was thinking about this, the Lord spoke to me. He said, it was two things. He said, remember how weight was measured. Remember how weight was measured. And I said, okay, Lord, bring it back to me. He says, in those days... They would measure the weight of something or the value of something by the weight. So the value was determined by the weight. I'll say it again. The value. So if you bought flour, flour was determined by the weight. They would weigh weights against whatever you were buying. And depending on how much it weighed, depending on the value of the worth. And God began to speak to me, he said, the more the weight, the more the value. The more the weight, the more the oil. The more the weight, the more the worth. 
some of you don't realize that this is a indicator that you are carrying something great. But one of the things he says to us to do with this way, he says, we don't, I don't want you to hold this. I don't want you to take this on. He says, lay aside every, not some, not a little bit, not the ones we feel like, not the ones we care for. Lay aside every weight. That means your children, your marriage, your friends, the bills, the finances, whatever the thing is, Lay aside every, not some, every weight. Lay aside. All of it. All of it. And here's the thing. We are good at laying aside what we want to talk to God about. God says lay aside every weight. Every single situation that is troubling your mind, we are going to lay aside every way it says lay aside every way and the sin so if you've got the sin that's attached to the way lay that too lay your mistakes lay your crimes lay your challenges lay your um, proclivities lay it all one thing i love about god he is not man he doesn't judge us the way that way that man judges us he is a god that he does not look at you and say your sin is so bad, I, I can't deal with you. He don't talk about you. You can literally give him every mistake and he will receive you. He will not judge you. He will not cause you to feel a certain way. Literally, he will welcome you. He says, lay us out every way and the sin that so easily ensnares you. So there are some sins that are literally trying to catch us. And we will say, well, you're saying that we have to be lusting or messing around. Do you know that if you backbite, if you're jealous, if you're if you um, are um, causing discord, all of these are sins. It's not just like sleeping with someone. That's not the only sin. Some of you is disobedient. Some of you, it's 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 all manners of things. Gluttony. Some of you, it's it's lack of control. You don't have self control. You buy everything on Amazon. The thing that is ensnaring you. Some of you, that's how you got into debt what is ensnaring you lay it at his feet lay it down and then he says us to do something once you do that run let us run it's so interesting because here's the thing he makes it clear listen you can't run with all that weight he says you gotta lay down the weight then you can run and some of you have been trying to run with the weight and you're wondering why you're getting nowhere you're wondering why you feel heavy you're wondering why you feel slow because you ain't let the weight go. Have you ever tried to run with weights? I remember one time my trainer was trying to train me to build my muscles and she wanted me to run with weights. It was so hard. I just said to her, you know what? Respectfully, I don't want to do this. Here's your weights. And as soon as I let go of the weights, I was able to run at my pace because the weights were slowing me down. Though they were building endurance, they were slowing me down. So whatever your situation is, lay it so that you can run with endurance. So that you have the capacity to keep going. Endurance deals with capacity. It deals with the ability to keep running. You will not be able to keep running this year if you don't lay the weights because it's going to drain your energy. Some of you are energy, energy less, if I can say that. You have no energy, you have no motivation, you have no, no oomph, you don't have nothing to want to go. And God said, it's because you are carrying too much weight. You cannot run with this weight, lay it down. Then you'll be able to run with endurance. Then you will not fatigue. Lay it down. And then run the race that's been set before you. There is a race. There is a journey that God has put before you that's just for you. The race is your race. No one else's race but yours. 
He's said it before you. I love that because it means he's already considered what your race looks like. Do you crazy that is? Like, I've already figured out your race. I've already figured out your route. So there's nothing that's happening in your life that he doesn't know about, that he's not aware of. He says, I literally have laid aside every weight, every weight, every weight. I, when you lay aside every weight, I've set the path. I've set the route. I've set the journey. It says, looking on to, verse 2, Jesus, not people, not so-and-so, looking on to Jesus. Your focus has to be on Jesus this year. When I run, I have to run with tunnel vision. I have to look at him. You have to say, I will not be distracted. There were some things that happened this week, and I said, you know what? This is the devil. I know this is the devil, because this is where it's supposed to take me. This is where it's supposed to put me mentally. This is where I'm supposed to end up. Not so. Absolutely not. Not doing it. Not going in. Not being in. So looking to Jesus, who is the author and finisher of our faith? I like what um, the NIV says. It says, fixing our eyes on Jesus, who's the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. He is the one that pioneered this faith. He is the one that is the author. He wrote this. He is the ultimate example of faith. So we look at him because he is the ultimate example of faith. When I can't believe, when I don't have the strength to go, when I feel like I'm not going to make it, when I feel like it's impossible, I look to him because he is the author. He is the only one who knows the book. He is the only one who knows how I'm going to get out of it. He knows the only one who knows that I'm going to get through. So I look to him because he is the author and the finisher or the perfecter of our faith. He is the one that makes sure that my faith gets where it needs to be. When I can't do it, he'll fix my faith. He'll make sure my faith aligns. He'll make sure I be where I need to be. So I look to him. I look to him. God, I look to you. This is where we get these songs from. I won't be overwhelmed. Give me vision to see things like you do. That's what that song comes from. God, I look to you. You're where my help comes from. Give me wisdom to know just what to do. Yeah. This is what we're praying. God, I look to you. God, I focus on you. God, I set my affections, my eyes, my ideas, my visions, my heart, my, I set my whole focus on you. I look to you. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning the shame and sat down on the right hand of the throne of God. In other words, what he's saying is Jesus already did it. So we have an example. We have an example. He already did it. So today we're going to pray. And guess what? I can't do this prayer for you. I'm going to lead you to, lead you through, but I can't do this prayer for you. This prayer requires you to go before God and lay it down. Lay it at the altar. There's this song um, that I really like called Altar. And it literally talks about laying things at the altar. I'm trying to find the lyrics because it's been a minute since I... Um, but it talks about laying things at the altar. Thank you. And it, it talks about, it says, I won't leave until my heart is burning and I will lay it at the altar.
So we've got to yield. So we're laying inside every weight this morning. Every weight. We're not leaving this altar space. We're not leaving this place without laying aside every weight. So I want you to start thinking about whatever the weight is. Whatever it is, whatever is holding you, whatever is in your mind, whatever is stressing you out, whatever is weighing you down. Think about that thing and we are leaving out the altar today. Every weight, not some of them. I want every weight. Think about it. If you're at home, just get a paper and pen. Come on, write down your weights. Write down your weights. What are my weights? Am I weighted in finances? Am I weighted in my family? Am I weighted in my marriage? What are the weights that are ensnaring you? What are the sins that you're dealing with? Write down your weights. We're dealing with it today. We're going after it today. I won't leave it till my heart is burning, burning. I won't leave till my heart is burning. I will stay at the altar. We lay every way today, every way. I won't leave till my heart. Burning, burning, oh God, burning. I won't leave to my heart. It's burning, I will stay at the altar. Yeah. Oh, We're leaving it all before God this morning. I know this is going to sound crazy. When I was a kid, um, and as you're just 
writing this down where you can take some time if you want to write in the comments you can we're gonna pray but i remember as a kid i used to watch a program called salty i don't know if anyone remembers salty it's like one of my favorite you know you can watch a lot of secular things though so you can sing a song but it was like my favorite christian tv show as a kid and there was a song they would sing um and it it goes um I cast all of my cares upon you. I cast all of my burdens down at your feet. And any time I don't know what to do, I just cast. All of my cares upon you. And I remember I heard that song as a kid and just anything that I was dealing with, whether it's school, whether it be people, friendship challenges, I would just sing that song knowing that God is a God that you can go to him with everything you're carrying. And he'll never take, take turn you away. So we say today, I cast all of my way upon you. I cast all of my burdens down at your feet. And anytime I don't know. What to do? I just cast all of my cares upon you. Give it to him this morning, Father. We give you every care, every burden. You see all of the pain. You see all of the shame. You see all of the frustration. You see the finance issues. You see the stress, the weight the challenges God you said literally God you said to lay aside every weight yeah dad lay aside every weight every weight that so easily ensnares us every weight every sin every burden God it's not your desire for us to carry weight to carry burdens to carry hard things but God you are faithful that we can cast our cares on you you said cast our cares, our burdens on you. That's what you said that we can do. So Father, you see your people today. You see their challenges, whether it's their marriage, whether it's their children, whether it's their finances, whether it's their homes, oh God. Father, there are people dealing with challenges in their homes. God, I've seen the prayer requests, people being about to be kicked out of their homes, financial challenges, Lord God, being stretched, job losses. God, you see everything. God, you know everything. And you said we can lay aside every weight and then we're able to run. Then we're able to accelerate. So before we run, before we press, before we go forward, God, we give you all our cares. We give you all our cares. We give you all our cares. We give you the stress. We give you the weights. We give you the pains. We give you the headaches. We give you the frustrations. We give you the questions. We give you the, Lord, I don't know what to do. Lord, I don't understand. Lord, I don't get it. Lord, you are not afraid of our emotions. You're not afraid of our challenges. You are not afraid of the things that we're carrying. We give it all to you. We surrender it all to you. We cast all our cares. We throw it at you because you're not afraid of our situation. We give you our weights. We give you our burdens. We give you the things we've been carrying from childhood, from well, our children, uh, from our childhood the things we've been carrying from our teachers look off from people that have spoken ill over us people that have said negative things god we carry look what everything we've been carrying god we give it to you we surrender it all we cast our cares god father god we lay it every way every way Lord God, the weights we try to hide, the weights we pretend about, the weights we think, Lord God, that you don't see, you see all, you see all, you see all, you see all. You're the God who sees. You're El Gabor. You are the God that sees. God, you see everything we have to juggle. God, I pray for those who are juggling many things. 
handling so many situations all at once it's overwhelming it's overtaking them it's Lord God, causing them to stress, to overwhelm their minds. God, you are peace. You said you are peace in the midst of the storm. You are El Roy. Thank you. You are El Roy. You are the God that sees. You see all things. God, you said that you'll be our peace, our shalom. Nothing missing, nothing lacking. You are our peace. God, be the peace that we need. Be the peace in the middle of our storms. God, be our peace. Be our peace. Be our peace, be our peace, be our peace. God, be our peace. Father, I pray peace over the minds of your people this morning as they're casting their weights, as they've got tears in their eyes, as they are giving you their cares, God, as they're giving you their circumstance, as they are giving you their frustrations, as they're sharing you the innermost, deepest parts of them. God, you are the God that sees and hears all things. There is nothing too hard for you. There is nothing that you cannot do. You are the I am. You are everything we need and more. There is nothing that you will withhold from us. That's what your word says. So God, we give it to you. We give every, not small, not little, not maybe. We give every weight. You said that, Lord God, your yoke is easy and your burden is light. So if we are feeling heavy, it's because we've not cast it on you. So God, today... Today, instead of carrying it through the week, today, instead of carrying it into another day, God, you said that your mercies are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. So God, we refuse to carry this weight any longer, anymore. Oh, Prince of Peace, be their peace. We cast it today. We give it to you today. We pour out from our soul. We pour out from our soul. Lord, you are the peace that surpass all understanding. Let it guard their hearts and their minds. Be the shield that they need. Lord, I'm asking in the name of Jesus, not just that, but restore hope. Lord God, this burden has come and it's, stole, it's stolen their hope. It's stolen the expectation. It's stolen their want to go forward. It's stolen, Lord God, and it's stealing their momentum. So God, restore, restore hope. Give them the hope of their salvation. You said in your word, the hope deferred makes the heart grow sick. Father God, give them hope again. Let them hope again. Let them hope again. God, restore. Let them believe again. Even as we began to thank you, remind them of what you've already done, how you've already brought them through, and that you are the same God. You are the same God. You are the same God. You are the same God that can bring us through again. You are the same God that can pull us out of every miry clay. You are the same God that can pull us out of every pit. You are the same God that can pull us out of every difficult situation. Same God same God to restore hope restore hope give them momentum back Lord God for everyone that's lost zeal that's lost the will to move forward God strengthen keep them give them momentum let them pick up speed you said when we lay the way then we can run then you give us the ability Lord to run then we run with perseverance then we run with endurance because you have marked out the route for us god make clear the journey make clear the path give us clarity where we are confused where we where we don't understand where we don't know god you said anytime we don't know we cast it on you because we don't need to be god our job is not to be you. Our job is just to follow you. You said that we should fix our eyes on you. We should focus on you. We should cause our gaze to be on you. So God, help our gaze to be focused on you. Help us to only watch you. Help us to look towards the hills from where it's come our help. Help us to focus on what it is that you have desired for us to do. Help us to focus on you. Help us to focus on you. Help us to see you in our situation where we feel like you are not present, where we feel like you are not there, where you feel like, where we feel like, God, you are not with us. I love that. 
Help us to get back in the race. Help us to go back to what it is you have called us to do. Help us to stay focused. Help us not to run away. Help us not to go away from what it is that you've said for us, said for our lives. Help us to run with endurance. Give us the momentum. Give us the strength. Give us capacity. Lord, every area that's depleted, where they've lost strength, God, you are strength like no other and it reaches to them it reaches to them wherever they are god pour strength into them lord god let strength come into their bodies now strength to their physical bodies strength into their mindsets in their hearts god we want to go forward help us to run again lord help us to run again because you said if we fix our eyes on you, you are the author of our faith. You are the ultimate example of faith. Help us to have faith like you. Help us to stay focused. Help us to literally understand that you are our greatest example. That's what your word says. You are the author. You are the perfection of our faith. In you, you perfect us. When we lay aside our weight, when we go before you, you perfect us. You perfect us. For there is a joy that was set before. God, bring our joy back. Let joy be in our portion. We speak joy. I speak joy. I speak joy even when they've lost happiness. They've lost the ability to smile. God, give them their joy. I don't know why all the salty songs are coming back to me this morning. Maybe it's because we're coming as children. I feel like that's the posture. Bring our joy back. Bring our joy back. Bring our joy back. our joy back God restore joy restore joy in families restore joy in relationships restore joy in workplaces restore joy with parents and children restore joy or give them joy I've got the joy 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 down in my heart down in my heart down in my heart i've got the joy 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 down in my heart down in my heart to stay we speak joy we speak joy joy in your heart And it's to stay, not to disappear, not to go anywhere, but we welcome joy. That the peace that passes all understanding down in my heart, down in my heart, down in my heart. I got the peace that surpasses all understanding. Down in Will it be down in Tuesday? They're saying, I'm so happy, so very happy. So I got the joy of the Lord down in my heart. So happy. And sometimes you gotta say it by faith. So very happy. So I got the joy of the Lord down in my heart. Hard to stay. I speak joy. I pray that God will restore your joy. Every broken place, every broken space, that the joy of the Lord will be your strength. Yeah. 
The joy of the Lord will be your strength. Your strength. I think sometimes God uses the kid stuff, the simple stuff, just to speak to our hearts. And that's sometimes all we have to do is literally just speak what God is saying over us. It's in our hearts. You don't, you don't, you're not speaking it, and it's not to say it's a lie. Because some of you won't feel joy. But the Bible says you have what you say. He says, life and death is in the power of your tongue. If you keep saying you're depressed, then that's what you'll have. But when you say, I have joy, joy unspeakable. I have peace, peace that surpasses all understanding. I am happy. Even when I don't feel like it, I decree I'm happy. I keep saying I'm happy until my emotions line up with what God has said. So it lines up. Until it lines up. So I speak in the name of Jesus as we are laying down everything today. The Lord, you will hear our hearts this morning. Father, you were the great example as you said in your word, you died on the cross dealt with the shame, dealt with the scorning. But God, you came and sat on the right hand of the Father as an example to us. As an example to us that if you can get through it, so can we. So we trust you where we can't trace you. Because we know that you have our hand. Lord, I trust you when I can trace you. God, hold my hand and go before me. Lord, I trust you when I can trace you. God, hold my hand and go before me. I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded. With all my hopes, it can't begin to speak. The word has gone. Before me, I'm surrounded. You have surrounded me. Oh God, I'm surrounded. Oh, I'm surrounded. The Lord is my light. Whom shall I be? Whom shall I be afraid of when you are here? For in the time of trouble, yeah, you will find me. And I'll be in and in your pavilion. So you are the pillar of cloud. By day, guiding my way, you are the pillar of yeah. By night, in peace, you are the pillar of cloud. By day, guiding my way, you are a pillar of fire. By night. Here beside Sons around And You are surround And And all the hopes it can't against you, his word 
has gone before you. Though our bones encamped against you, His word has gone before you. Though our host make it count against you, His word has gone before you. I'm surrounded. You have surrounded me. I am surrounded. Oh, please surround me. Well, we thank you today that you have us surrounded. We thank you that as we have casted our cares on you, you are with us, you are for us. You are near. So God, I'm asking you, even as they continue this space, Lord God, beyond prayer this morning, Lord God, that you will be with them. Lord God, just like the song says, Lord, even when they don't know what to do, they cast their cares on you. You have them surrounded. You have them encamped, Lord God, but you have your protection, your peace. Lord God, it's surrounding them. Lord God, I thank you that they will not lose their mind. We bind every demonic power that will try to cause hindrance in their mind, depression. Whatever it will try to cause them to lose focus, God, we pray that they will be clear. They will think clearly, clarity of their mind, clarity of their heart. Father God, keep them, hold them together. We honor you because you're a God that deals with every weight so that we can run. So we focus our eyes on you. Keep us focused in this week. Let us not be distracted. We honor you. We give you the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Love you guys. I pray all is well. Pray that you are feeling revived, feeling strengthened, feeling hope, feeling capacity, feeling momentum coming back. I decree the joy of the Lord is your strength. We've laid aside every weight, so we speak joy. Can you do that for me? Say, I have the joy of the Lord. I want you to tap that. That's going to be our decree today. I have the joy of the Lord. Even if you don't feel like it, just say it. Say it in pain. I have the joy of the Lord. I have the joy of the Lord. We are surrounded by God. He has encamped his angels around us. I have the joy of the Lord. I'm going to see y'all type that today. I have the joy of the Lord. We are speaking it. We're decreeing it. So, Father, we thank you. We honor you. We give you the glory. In Jesus' name. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this morning's prayer. I love you guys. I cannot wait till next week. It's going to be powerful. We're going to have another great time in God's presence. So just make sure you don't miss it. It's been an honor. Remember, we're laying aside every, wet, every single one. So anytime a weight comes on you, anytime a hit comes, lay it, put it away. And I will see, and you will see, that you will see the joy of the Lord enter your heart. Love you all. Can't wait to see you guys again next week. God bless you. Have an amazing day.